There's something almost magical about really, really ridiculously low-priced smartphones. No matter what handset we're talking about, you know a smartphone's gonna deliver some basic features. Get you online, keep you connected with your friends and family, even help you find your way around. And while a $700 flagship will absolutely do all that, it almost feels like we're getting away with something when we get to enjoy the same aspects of that experience on a phone that costs nearly an order of magnitude less. That's what makes the new ZTE Z Max Pro so interesting, as it debuted today for Metro PCS. ZTE doesn't go in for any fancy materials or customizable designs for the Z Max Pro, and the handset's build's very utilitarian. For a phablet with a 6-inch screen, it's comfortable enough to hold, and as you grip the phone, your finger naturally finds its way to the rear-mounted fingerprint scanner. Even though it's plasticky, the handset feels appropriately sturdy, and the backplate has a pleasant, almost soft-touch finish to it. Around front, we get capacitive Android buttons to free up screen space, though the trio of earpiece holes doesn't look quite as nice as the grills on some of ZTE's higher-end offerings. As we'd hoped, the Z Max Pro is running Android M, and though you'll find a fair amount of Metro PCS bloat, we've seen worse from other carrier models. The UI is brisk and doesn't feel unnecessarily weighed down with tweaks, though ZTE does deliver some friendly enhancements like easy customizable quick settings. The phone's camera combines both an expected auto mode with a welcome assortment of manual controls, and your filter fans will dig the easy access to some more artistic shooting modes. With a 6-inch Gorilla Glass protected Full HD display, Snapdragon 617 processor, 32 gigs of storage, and a fingerprint scanner, the Z Max Pro sounds like a, one of your better equipped mid-rangers. It's got a 13 megapixel, 5 megapixel camera pair, 3400 milliamp hour battery, and supports microSD expansion. And this being 2016, we've even got a reversible USB Type-C port. Honestly, purely looking at the specs, this breakdown sounds like the Z Max Pro is quickly rising towards the top of the mid-range pool. Now, if hardware were the beginning and end of the phone's story, that might be true. But then there's its price. Pre-registrations open now ahead of retail availability at the beginning of August, but when the ZTE Z Max Pro finally lands, you'll be able to pick it up for just under $100. That's shocking. Even $150 would represent a great value for this hardware, but $100? Depending on how well the phone's received, that has the potential to be a real game changer, forcing other manufacturers to both up their own design game and lower margins for the most affordable level of the smartphone market. For now though, I've been Steven Shank with Phone Arena, bringing you a first look at the crazy affordable ZTE Z Max Pro for Metro PCS.